Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Let's jump into your reading. We're going to start off with a few messages, get some clarifiers and see what spirit has for you. And then we'll check and see what the person that has you on their mind has been feeling and thinking about you. Alright, let's go ahead and jump on into it. Gemini. Take a resonate. Like, subscribe. Alright. Waste of time. I played again. I can't wait to take you on a date. And I forgive you, but I won't forget. All right, Gemini. So, some of you all could be in an energy of, um, Completion with something or someone. With this waste of time energy. And uh, I forgive you but I won't forget energy. You may just be feeling like something needed to come to an end. You had to let someone go or end something. You felt like they wasted your time. It may have caused you some type of stress with this up late again energy. And I feel that you're attempting to move forward, move on from this. And you also have an energy coming in that wants to help you to feel better, help you move on. Say you're already in a connection right now. This could be something else that you're dealing with outside of that connection. Okay, take it as it applies. Yeah, like you're, if you're involved with someone, y'all good, y'all on good terms, y'all ain't got nothing rocky or shaky going on in y'all connection. However, you could have something going on at work or something going on with a family or friend, you know, so take it as it applies. But something or someone made you feel as though it was a waste of your time. Whatever happened in this situation or with this connection, it seems as though you trusted this person. I feel like you would have went to bat for this person. You would have gone all the way for this person, with this person, 1,000%. And they betrayed that trust. I'm getting sleepless nights with this energy. Like I feel that you guys had some sleepless nights. Like You couldn't believe that this happened. And after seeing this about this connection or this person, like seeing the reality of it, you're just like, no, I, I forgive you. I'm mature enough. I'm grown enough to forgive you. But to act like it never happened, that's not, nah, we, we not doing that. All right. So let's jump into the reading. Let's see what's going on with you, Gemini. That's a bit, I feel like it's kind of heavy. It's not like a deal breaker. Because this person or this connection, this situation may have a chance to come back into your life. But you're just not going to see them the same again. You're, you're not going to treat it the same even. You're just like, you know, okay. Okay, you did that. Yeah, you crossed the line, you showed your ass and all that, but you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, I forgive you, but I'm not going to treat you like that shit didn't happen. I'm not going to treat you with the same love and show you the same respect that I showed you once before because I don't view you in that light anymore. I saw you. I saw you when you did that shit. I heard you when you said that shit. And now that I know how you really feel about me, okay, bet. Bet. So you may have like no remorse for this type of shit or this person or this situation. Like, no, I don't know. 
I'm about to be sitting around feeling sorry for you. Shouldn't have done what you did. Okay. Nine of Wands, for sure. <laughs> Definitely got the, that guard at super protective. Super, like, no nonsense right now. Like, child, please. Six of Swords, reverse. Okay. Page of Wands, reverse. Uh, and you have the Seven of Swords reverse. Uh huh. Someone was being sneaky. One sided, conniving. They betrayed you, for sure. They could have even betrayed someone that you love. Because I see the lovers here. You know what I'm like? This could be a person, like, you could have a, a mutual friend or something like. This person could have like been welcomed into your your circle or something like that and betrayed not only you but everybody in the circle. And you just looking at them like bitch, everybody else can forgive you and act like nothing ever happened and be your friend and nice and all that shit if they want to, but I don't have to. I'm not giving you that. Like fuck out of here. You were sneaky, you was moving funny. And then when, you, when your ass got caught, then all of a sudden, you know, you wanted to switch up and shit. And you wanted to act like you felt sorry and all that shit. Like, bitch, why did you do it in the first place when we never gave you a reason to be like that towards us? So you could be super protective of, like, you know, your environment of some, some nature. Because <clears throat> this is all swords and this is all wands here. So it makes me feel like if I saw cups, I would think like, you know, you're protecting, you know, your lover. If I saw pinnacles, I would think that you were protecting like your family. I see a whole bunch of fucking wands and swords here. So it makes me feel that you were protecting something that meant like something that you were passionate about. Okay. Something that you respected. So it's giving me more so like a friend circle. It could even be in business, like at work or something. But someone didn't respect your craft. They didn't respect your time, your efforts, your energy, your kindness. And they thought... They thought because you were passionate about this or you were cool with them at a point in time that you would overlook their betrayal or overlook their bad behavior, but you're not. you like, oh, no, 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 no. So this person had to learn the hard way of who you are because they only saw the nice side of you up until now. They don't realize the duality. Okay, the lovers here, the Gemini energy here. They didn't realize who they was fucking with. You could be even dealing with another Gemini. Like, oh, we, hey, twin. And all this, and all this shit. And it's like, bitch, I will cut you. <laughs> who the fuck you think you playing with? I ain't playing with your ass. It's like you had to show them something else. And, and they were surprised by that. All right. I feel the problem with this individual and the reason your guard your guard is up is because this person doesn't take accountability, okay? Like, you had to forgive them on your own terms. You had to forgive them because that's just who you are. You're a lover. You love yourself. You value yourself. You value your energy. So you don't go around harboring negative feelings or emotions for anyone. You had to heal to learn how to do that within yourself. So you forgave them for you, Right? It had nothing to do with them because they're not coming in seeking forgiveness. They have this attitude, this nonchalant attitude, like they didn't do shit wrong. With the Page of Wands reverse and the Six of Swords reverse, this person is not going to change. Okay, they procrastinate. They do the same old, same old to everybody. So like I said, you could have been protecting a, a group when it came to this person. And you could have been speaking... For a group, like nobody else wanted to say what needed to be said. But you like, okay, I got us. I got us. I'll tell that bitch. I'll tell that motherfucker exactly what we all thinking for real. 
you have the balls to confront this entity because you feel like it's the right thing to do. You feel like it's the right thing to do. It, it's like with the lover's energy, it's not always about, uh, you know, peaches and cream. You know what I'm saying? You got to get real low sometimes, real shitty sometimes too. It's like reminding people that there's a balance here to be kept. So if you're not gonna keep that, you're not gonna respect that. Then no, we go, we can get, we can match that level with you. So it's like fair trade. You're giving somebody what they give you, or what they've given a whole fucking environment. Like this person play too much is what I'm getting. <laughs> this person play too much, and I feel like you probably just like you got you got us all messed up. And I'm not gonna sit back and act like I'm okay with it. Maybe everybody else can, but I can't do it. <clears throat> You calling them out. Calling them out and you letting them know. Nah, nah, you wrong. And I'm not about to sit up and, and chill, kiki with you and all that. No, no, I don't even trust you no more. Like, why are you really here? Are you here to get information? Because you clearly don't really vibe with us. You don't rock with us. You don't respect us like that. Because if you did, you wouldn't have done what you've done. So you're not blindsided. You're not ignoring the red flags. You're calling them out. Mm-hmm. Nine of Swords reverse. Ace of Swords reverse. This person is confused. They lie. The devil reverse. Okay. You free yourself from this energy. But there still could be people attached to this person. And so you could feel like you still have to deal with this person. That could be the frustrating thing. Like I said, if it's not a love relationship, like if it is a love relationship, this could be someone that you broke up with because they betrayed you. And then you still got like your family and your friends asking about this person. Like where's so-and-so at? Where are they at? On my block list? That's where they at. In the trash somewhere? In somebody else's bed? In somebody else's fucking head? Not mine? That's where they at. Anywhere but near me. That's where they at. So, you now have this attitude of like, why are we still talking about this shit? I'm, I'm over it. I forgave that person and now I, I'm, I'm done with that. I'm trying to move on with my life. Why y'all keep bringing that motherfucker up? So, you could be getting frustrated, Gemini, with the, the constant reminder of this person. They're somehow lingering in your energy still. Okay? So, you've detached... But they're still lingering because they're obsessed with this devil energy even popping out. They're obsessive. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay. So many swords, it's unbelievable. You could be dealing with another Gemini, like we said, an Aquarius or a Libra. But they don't want to go away. Like, shoe fly don't bother me. They're not going away. They're very, like, pest, pesty. Like, like just... Ugh. It's annoying. This person is annoying as shit. Three of Swords reverse. They want forgiveness, but they don't want to change. It's on top of the page of wands reverse. They procrastinate when it comes down to apologizing, changing. They gonna justify their shit by all means. Well, I did it because no, ain't no because. Say sorry or go on about your day. You're not trying to hear the excuse. Because it's like, I already forgave you. So really, you don't have to explain anything else to me. But trying to cover up or justify your shit, that's not going to help you. So that you're, you're frustrated with this person. Because they, they, they're not honest. The Ace of Swords reverse. this is a flat out fucking liar. And they're destructive, confused. Couldn't tell the truth to save their life, to save their connections, to save their job, to save their ass. They refuse. It's like a habitual liar here. They've been lying. They ain't shit. They ain't never gonna be shit. <laughs> oh man, I, I don't. I don't mean to be harsh. You know what I'm saying? But this person is so shit. What we doing? What we doing? They didn't treat you right. They didn't treat you fair. And now they, you know, want to just come around without no apology. No apology. No, no, like they're not going to even speak on and explain like, you know, oh my God, there's no accountability. None. When they come around, they try to avoid talking about the shit that they did. And then when the topic is brought up, 
they justify everything that they did. Like, it's nothing wrong with their behavior. Like, no, you cannot be around me doing like that. Because if you don't see nothing wrong with it, you're going to do it again. And I don't want you around me. I'm giving you grace right now. So you're giving them grace right now. And they still don't know how to act? Who is this, Gemini? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Uh, who is this, Gemini? Uh, they getting on my damn nerves already. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Bad investment. Four of Cups reverse. Okay? It's like they refuse to accept the truth for what it is. And the Four of Wands reverse. Conflict. You can't even enjoy yourself no more around this person. It's too much conflict. It's too much, like, competition. This person could literally be in competition with you. And you like, girl, boy, I am not worried about you. Why every time you come around, you the only one causing conflict or you the only one, on, like, trying to compete? We love each other around here. We chilling. We enjoying ourselves around here. Then here you come. So whoever this is, they just bring bad vibes. And you may be feeling a bit out of yourself sometimes. Like, I'm getting tired of checking people. And you may even be frustrated. Like, if this is a group situation and you've been kind of standing up for the group and they're still dealing with this person, you may even be frustrated with your, your circle, with your group. Like, why do y'all keep tolerating this? Why do y'all keep bringing this? It? like y'all asking to be, you know, disappointed. I don't want that around me. I saw it for what it was the first time. I learned my lesson, and I'm good. Why do y'all still want this person around? They bring no good. So, <clears throat> you feel like this person creates division, creates conflict, creates confusion amongst a group of people that are okay, are perfectly fine, happy when this person isn't around. So you're frustrated because you're like, why are we allowing this? It's only so much calling out I'm going to do before y'all realize that you're dealing with a, a shady person, a snake, whatever the case may be. Okay, so you're getting fed up. All right, if you haven't experienced this, Gemini, this may be just a warning that this is something that could be coming towards you. A person that you already done healed from and got over to move on. And they, they creeping back up. They lingering around. And people going to start talking about them again. Like, oh, did, did you hear so-and-so did this? Or did you hear so-and-so was in town? Did you hear so-and-so's having a party and they invited all of us? And you're going to be like, well, that's good. But I don't want nothing to do with it. I don't want to be around that. I don't have to be around that. All right. So you're going to be making a wise decision to, to you know, remove yourself and keep yourself secluded. Yeah, you like, um... Far, far away. <laughs> Lord Farquaad. Period. Alright, so... Let's get a couple more of these. I'm hearing a couple more from the... What What else? We, okay, what What else is coming towards Gemini? Okay, we got something good, something new, something exciting, something fresh, spirit. Can we have something positive coming towards Gemini? Because they know what they don't want to deal with. And possibly may even know who this negative entity is. So what good news do we have for Gemini? Okay, what's coming towards Gemini? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's new? What's new for Gemini? What's new for Gemini? <laughs> what's new for Gemini? Baby, I'm just the messenger. <laughs> What's new for Gemini, Spirit? What's new? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Page of Pentacles at the top of the deck. All right. Could be learning a new trade. Okay. Starting something that's going to inspire you. Bring out that ambitious energy in you. Okay. So we asked what's new and positive coming towards you. <laughs> but we get the Page of Cups reversed <laughs> and the Six of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Um. Okay. This energy here, if I can make it as possible, like as positive as I can, <laughs> it's still kind of not as positive as I would like, Gemini. But this could be someone. 
Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces coming towards you. That really values your time, but they could be a bit possessive. It's like whoever you're dealing with, whoever gets to know you, could be a friend or lover or family member, it doesn't even matter. They want so much of you. They want so much, like just gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give like oh, I just love you and you know, it's like they they value you so much that they become obsessed with your your energy. So they, they pick, like, oh, where you at? Where you at? And, and where you think you're going? You know, don't leave, you know? So it's like, whoever's coming towards you, it could be someone that you actually love and enjoy and all of that, but they're just so, like, smothering. They could be very smothering and so, like, codependent on your energy that you may become overwhelmed with that, too. <laughs> but at the same time, you might fuck with it. You might like that because... You feel like the person's intentions are good and you actually vibe with this person. They've never wronged you or anything like that. So you're like, okay, they're clingy. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's my dog. Yeah, he clingy, she clingy. But so, like, we all clingy in this motherfucker. Like, I, I rock with them so they can be clingy. Y you know, this is the type of energy that's going to be coming in that you may actually enjoy. Because it's it's coming out as something positive for you. So while they may be clingy, you like it, <laughs> okay? You like it, so you're, you're not going to have too much of an issue with it. You may laugh a little bit, and you may even have to check them a little bit like, which I ain't going to be holding your hand all day, but I understand why you want to be around me. Like, I, I fuck with you too, so it's like, it's not too serious. The page energy is here. It's not too serious. It's just like, okay, cool. Let's just do something fun. Let's just enjoy this time together. I feel this person has insecurities with the Six of Pentacles reverse being here and the Page of Cups being here reverse. This person or this um, these people or whatever, they may have insecurities when it comes to the connection that they have with you because they may not have as much time as they would like with you. All right? So maybe you only see them every now and then, and that's the reason they're so clingy. All right? So this is Cups energy and Pentacles energy. Remember, remember I mentioned before that the Cups represents more of a love energy, you know, lovers, and the Pentacles represent more of family energy. So before you're dealing with shady-ass friend circle, okay? But now we're saying what's positive coming towards you, this is love your lover or your family coming towards you that could be a bit clingy could be someone younger than you with the page energy being here or you could be the younger person but they act younger than you okay but however it goes like it could be like a little sister who just like i miss you and stay here with me and you know what i'm saying or someone that is older than you but they still treat you like you're a child because they they love you like that, okay? They still see you like you still my baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they like you. You still my baby. You like I don't need nobody watching me. I'm grown. They like, well, I'm watching your ass. Like what? And you like, okay, whatever. I, I take it. So you now have love, like a lover, like romantic connection, and your family coming in to save the day, Gemini. They're coming in to show you love to cling to you, to, you know, fight for your time, to want to hang out with you, want to create memories with you, okay, want to share with you, but they don't want to share you with others, okay, so that's the only downside to the lovers and the family that you have, they just want a lot of your time, because they really do fuck with you like that, they really like you, alright, so, let's get a few more index cards, to see how the person that has you on their mind is feeling. And we'll close this on out. <laughs> okay, Gemini. Alright. I need some time alone. Please don't walk away. Memories. I should have known. Make me a happy home. And ungrateful. So. 
Someone could be in an energy. Look, we got false flame at the bottom of the deck. Someone could be a bit um, selfish. You know what I mean? Not necessarily in a negative sense, but just like needing some time to themselves. Needed, needed to heal. Okay, they may come across as selfish to you. If this is like your lover, um, they may come across as selfish to you because you're like, you know, talk to me, you know, explain to me or connect with me or, you know, vent to me. And this person just like, no, like, I just really need some time to myself. I need to figure this out on my own, but please don't walk away. So someone wants you to be understanding right now, Gemini. Okay, they're asking you not to leave them because they need some time to themselves. Okay, you may feel like this person is ungrateful. Um, or you could have someone coming through that is giving like, you know, those vibes. Like they don't appreciate you. But I feel like it's a, mis a misconception, a misunderstanding. Someone appreciates you. They're grateful for you. But they need some time to themselves to figure something out, okay? Um, then there's another energy here that wants to build with you. Someone wants to build with you, connect with you. I feel someone like wants to reassure you that they're, they're all for you. It's you that they want and all that, but they got, they got shit to handle. They got shit to take care of. It could have something to do with like a previous connection that they had. Like they got to close something out. They got to handle some type of business. Like it just popped up on them. It popped up on them out of the blue. And now they have to like give all their attention to it. And you may be feeling like they got you fucked up. But I, I don't think they're on negative vibes. Whoever this is. This is not the same person that we were talking about that fucked up um, in the beginning. Like the frenemy. We're not talking about them. This is someone else. This is someone else that have good intentions. They really want to build with, with you. They intend to, like, you know, commit to you. But something happened that requires their full attention. You may not be feeling like how they're just so attentive to that and not you right now. But this is a good time for you to connect with people that you haven't connected with in a minute. All right. This is an opportunity for the both of you guys to connect possibly back with home. All right. So this person could have some type of family matters to tend to. And you do too. Your family and your, your loved ones really miss you right now. Yeah, I'm exactly where I need to be. Someone wants to reassure you that they have no intention on leaving. Yeah, see the trust issues are there. They have no intentions on leaving you or leaving you, like abandoning you or anything like that. They just got to take care of some shit. But worth every penny. They're invested in this connection. They're invested in this connection. Second chance. Second chance. So... This person, they have an opportunity to do something the right way, and they're trying to show you. Maybe they disappointed you. Ah, yeah. With trust issues being here and second chance being here, maybe they disappointed you in the past, and that's why you kind of got your guards up when it comes to them, because I did see the nine of wands in your read, too. So you may have your defenses up when it comes to this person. Like, okay, what, what you up to now? I already got enough shady shit going on in my life. What, what you doing? You know, so you may be giving them a side eye, Gemini. But I feel like they want to reassure you. They're trying to show you and reassure you that you're exactly where they want to be, who they want to be with. It ain't nothing like that. But it is some shit that they have to take care of. And they want you to give them an opportunity to show you that you can trust them again. Okay, they feel like they've been building up. They could even feel like you're a little ungrateful because they feel like they've been showing and proving and trying to show up for you after they disappointed you. And they feel like they they should have at this time gained your trust back. But you won't give them that. And you still got trust issues. <laughs> and so that's a bit frustrating for this person. But they still feel like it's worth the fight. Like you make them happy. You, you make them a happy home. You gave them a happy home. Being with you is enough for this person. They're exactly where they feel they need to be. 
They feel that you are completely worth the investment, worth every penny, worth all the stress, all the energy, all the blood, sweat, and tears. They feel it's worth it. They just want you to drop those trust issues. They want you to give them a second chance to show you that they've, they've changed. They, they're they doing it right this time. They're doing it right. They're doing it right. Like, this person is like, don't doubt me. Please don't doubt me. We're going to get two more and we're going to close it out. <clears throat> look come on thank you spirit i'm removing all toxicity from my life this person is really trying to show the fuck out and show up for you if they have toxic motherfuckers around them and like and they in a circle or it's certain shit it don't even have to be people it could be circumstances it could be debt it could be fucking a, a case or something you know what I'm saying? But they're trying to get all that shit out the way so that they can invest in you. They can build a happy home with you. That's what they're trying to do. But it's not it's not exactly easy. But they're they're working on it. And they need some time alone. They need one thousand percent focus on this shit in order to remove all that toxicity from their life because they want to focus on you. So this is your chance while they're doing that. To go and enjoy your family, you, you know, work on yourself, get back to your foundation. This is your opportunity to do that, Gemini. But while you're doing that, you have to trust this person. I can't stop thinking about you, okay? Their focus is on you. Their intentions are good, all right? They mean well when it comes to you. But you have to release. If you have any insecurities or any doubts when it comes to this connection, they're asking you to release that. They're asking you to release that. Like, they're like, I'm not your ex. I'm not going to do you like that. I know what you've been through, Gemini. I'm not the fucking one. Okay? Just because they went out of town and they crossed you, talking about they was going to go handle business on me. I'm going out of town to cross you when I got to go handle my business. I'm not them. They're trying to get you to see, please do not even disrespect me like that. To compare me to the motherfucker that did you wrong before. Okay, so you watch that too, Gemini. If this person has crossed you and you have reservations, fine. Okay, you you forgave, but you won't forget, fine. But if this is an ex you dealt with, got you with trust issues, and now you're dealing with somebody new and somebody improved and somebody who, you know, is trying to work on their motherfucking life so they could be better for you. Please check yourself. Remind yourself, hey, okay, you're not my ex. I shouldn't have you paying for the shit my ex did to me. Okay? Don't do that to them. They don't deserve that. They they don't. They're showing up and they're showing out for you. Give them opportunity. Give them opportunity to show you. All right? Even if they were the one that crossed you and you forgave them but you didn't let it go. And now they're trying to show you again that you could trust them and they made up for the shit that they did in the past. Give them a chance. Give them a chance. All right? So that's what I have for you, Gemini. I love y'all. Y'all know that. I'll see you next time.